Great. Set yourself up. Find it, your chair, and we will begin. Ah, all right. So our chakras, again, those wheels of energy. And so today we've been doing a series on our chakras. And today we're just going to do yoga poses, asana poses that open up all of our energy centers, right? And breathing, uh, you know, we were just talking about health and our breath can is healing. Our breath can heal us. And so we're going to just breathe through all of our chakras to begin with. But to start, it's always nice to sort of shake off your day so far, you know, whatever has been going on, phone calls, conversations, you know, the thing when you notice, notice when you get up in the morning, your routine and all of a sudden you just hit the floor and you're on, you know, and so that set, so that's good, it's good finding a balance to that. So sometimes, you know, if you're rushing, maybe you rush to get to class. So just shake that off, shake, shake it off. Now let's come to a little march. I know we march standing up, but sometimes you can march sitting down too if you're sitting down. But tuck your tummy in. It's actually a little bit more challenging um, to march sitting down. Yeah. So make sure that you tuck your tummy back. Good. Just see how that feels. Good. Nice tall spine. Nice lifted heart a little bit. Yeah, we're just going to march into this balance of our chakras today and relax. Good. All right, make sure you're sitting nice and comfortably. The spine is tall. Let's bring our palms up onto our lap. Good. And let's close our eyes and just arrive in this yoga space for this hour. Yeah. And just quieting our body a little bit, quieting our monkey mind a little bit. Let's take a nice big breath in through the nose and let it go. Do that two more times at your own pace, taking as deep of a breath as you can in and just pause the breath at the top and then let it out naturally. Just let it come out naturally. And one more. All right, and relax the breath now and bring your awareness to your pelvic floor where your body is meeting your chair. And that's the area of your first chakra, right? And so we're just gonna be breathing all the way through all seven chakras out through the top of our head. Nice and relaxed, you can do ujjayi breath, good. And so bringing your awareness to that pelvic floor, and as you breathe in, imagine the breath going up your spine from the pelvic floor all the way through your spine and up to about an inch above your head. And then pause up there in your crown. And then as you breathe out, imagine the breath going down through your head, through the center of your body, down your spine, back to the pelvic floor. Good. And let's do about five breaths, just massaging that whole energy center, inhaling pelvic floor all the way up to the top of the head, just an inch above, and exhale, reverse the breath as you start to relax the body. So this just as you're bathing your spine in this breath, so just continue at your own pace, just nice and relaxed and slow and long. Yeah. And again, using that Ujjayi breath, if you have it in your practice. Smile on the face. Noticing as you breathe in, you get energy going, a little energy. And notice as you breathe out, the body relaxes. Then we need both to balance. Chakras can be overstimulated, which isn't good, and they can be lazy, lethargic, 
which isn't good either. So this helps to balance. And good, and the next time that you breathe out, relax. Yeah, keeping your eyes closed here, just notice. Imagine each breath, each natural breath, naturally riding up your spine and down. Good. Relax your body now. Good, and you can keep your eyes closed here if you'd like, or you can just crack your eyes open. Yeah. Let's take a breath in. And as you exhale, drop your chin to your chest. And as you inhale, slowly lift the chin up. And as you exhale, slowly drop your chin to chest. Inhale, slowly lift up. Exhale, drop chin to chest. Pause there, relax your shoulders. Do a few head rolls. Start going to the left this time. Yeah, roll the head to the left and back. And to the other side, forward. Continue inhaling to one side and back. Exhaling to the other side and forward. One more nice slow circle. forward, pause, and reverse. So if you were in class Tuesday, we did these neck rolls and neck stretches a lot longer. It's using our breath. Yeah, it just helps us to connect. And connect that spirit to the mind, to the body. And then the next time that the head rolls forward, Pause, good. And press down into your feet and slowly lift your head back up. Good. Relax your arms down alongside your body. Good. Do a little shake with your body here. Relax the body and press down into your feet and inhale, reach your shoulders up and in. This, you should feel really nice stretch along the whole side body. And exhale. Press down into your feet, inhale. Just inhaling today through that, from that pelvic floor out to the top of your head. Think of it, yeah. And one more time, inhale, lift the shoulders. And relax, good. And let's row our boat here. So hands and fists. We're just gonna inhale up and exhale back and down. Just as if we're in a row boat rowing on a beautiful lake on a sunny day with the birds singing. That sounds so nice after our below zero just a few hours ago. <laughs> yeah, but today it's going to be nice and warm. Good. Things are constantly changing. Then let's reverse our row. One more. Good, and relax and shake it out. Walk the fingers around. Stretch the fingers a little more. So we're gonna interlace our fingers. Yes. We're gonna lift our elbows up. We're gonna press our palms forward. Take a breath in. As you exhale, press your hands straightening the elbows as much as you can, relaxing the shoulders forward. Feel that nice stretch along your arms, back of your shoulders, top of your shoulders. Good. And then relax the arms, just slide the shoulders back a little bit. If it's available to you, start to press into your feet and lift your arms up. Good, get nice and tall, yeah. Just to where it's comfortable for you. So you're pressing into your feet, you're reaching the palms up towards the sky. 
and you're smiling. That smile mudra will help lift your spirits. And there, there are some days where the smile mudra feels like climbing a 14er. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. It's good to practice. One more breath in. Each time you breathe in, stretch up a little bit more. As you exhale now, relax the arms. Just unclasp your hands. Good. And just allow the hands to float to your elbows or to your shoulders here. Good. You can go ahead and take a little break and relax the elbows down. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. And then we're going to lift the elbows, just float them up again. Good, and then we're just gonna go side to side, inhaling and exhaling, just little helicopter arms. Yes, to side to side. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and now come back to center, relax the elbows down. Good, <coughs> relax the arms down. Roll the shoulders. I'm just gonna grab a little water. <laughs> Roll the shoulders forward, giving instruction from outside on the side here. Good. And now we're gonna come into a breath called the Bostrika breath. So we've done that before. You may need to clean it because we're gonna be breathing out of our nose. If not, that's okay. We can grab one if you need it. But basically, we're gonna just be bringing our arms, again, bending the elbows and our arms into fists. Now, if you have uncontrolled high blood pressure, when we breathe in, our arms are gonna go up, and when we breathe out, they're gonna just drop down, right? But you don't wanna go all the way up if your blood pressure is high or you have uncon uncontrolled blood pressure. But we're gonna be breathing in and out of the nose. All right, and this is really energizing. This is a breath called yoga coffee, right? It gives us some energy and also helps us to get rid of stuff that we're holding. Good. So let's, we'll do a couple slow together. So take a breath in and breathe out. Oh, good. And take another breath in and let it go. Good. And now breathe in and bring your arms up. And as you breathe out, drop your arms down. Good, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. In, out. So now we'll speed it up a little bit. If you want, you can go slow. Breathing out your nose, breathing in through your nose. So be gentle on your shoulders. And relax the arms down. Good, this is a time where you think I should have blown my nose. <laughs> it's also it's great for the sinuses, right? But if you're ever feeling lazy, lethargic, just doing a couple rounds of this, was really helpful. We're gonna do that one more time. Yeah. So again, we're breathing in as the arms go up. So let's bring our hands into little fists, elbows alongside our rib cage. Nice and relaxed. The arms are nice and relaxed. Good. Let's just take a cleansing breath in and breathe out. And now when we breathe in, bring your arms up. And when you breathe out, drop them down. In, out. Up, down. You're breathing in through your nose, out through your nose. As effervescently as you can. And you can only, if you only, uh, if it's hurting your shoulders or anything, you can just do halfway. Yeah, two more. And relax, relax the body. Just close your eyes here for a second. Notice how you feel in your body. Notice if you have maybe a little bit more energy 
in your body, maybe not. Yeah. And I'll flutter the eyes open. Nice, nice, nice. We're gonna come into a little cat cow. So we're gonna scoot forward in our chair. Good. And let's bring our hands onto our thighs and our elbows out today. Good. All right, now on an inhale breath, lift your heart and look up. And as you exhale, slide your hands to the front of your knees, round your back, drop your, your head. Good. Inhale, slide those hands up, bring the elbows out, lift your heart, and even lean forward a little bit into a cow pose and then exhale, relax the body, slide your hands to the front of your knees, round your back, drop your head. Inhale as you come up into your cow pose, lift the heart. You can do this with the elbows out or just how we usually do it. Exhale, relax the back, back, yeah. And one more, inhale, slowly lift up, lift the chest, lift the chin, and exhale. And if you're just sitting and breathing with us, that's enough. That's the perfect yoga class. Good. And slowly bring the body back up. Good. So we're gonna open up our hips here. So we're gonna start with our figure four. No, it can be a little um, uh, tight on the hips, but we'll see what, how it goes. So we're gonna lean forward, grab your back of your knee. On an inhale breath, hug your thigh into your belly. Might as well do our feet. Yeah. Good, you can keep the toe on the floor. So here, if you're up here, see if you can just lay your right outside ankle onto that left leg and or cross at your ankles. Or you can bring the outside of the right foot on top of the left. Yeah. So what it's, I know it's early in class, so, so up here may not be working for you today because your hip might be a little tight, but we want to lift our chest. Good. Take a breath in here and exhale, lean forward just slightly with your chest. Start feeling an opening in that right hip. And then inhale, don't go too far. Just take this to where it feels like a nice stretch, a little bit of a challenge. Come forward, good. And then come and sit up tall, good. And then just rock a little bit side to side. Again, opening up that right hip just a little bit, good. And come back to the middle, take a breath in. And this time as we exhale, press your chest forward. Good, keep the gaze forward until you get to the point where you're like, that's enough. And then relax your head down and breathe. And close your eyes here and imagine taking that breath now right into the hip, breathing into the right hip. And as you exhale, the body relaxes. See if you can relax the right hip just a little bit. Nice, long, slow, deep breaths here. Just paying some attention to that right hip, relaxing with each exhale breath, opening a little bit more. Good. Yeah. And now on an inhale breath, slowly come back up. This opening up of our hips is starting to work those lower chakras. Yeah, and you can release that out. Good, all right. And wiggle it out. And just, just to your ability here, how you feel today, we'll do the other side. So clasping behind that left knee, hugging that left thigh in, doing a little circle with the ankle or the toes on the floor, side to side with the heel. Good, relax, stretch the shoulders back. And on this side of that left ankle can come up to the, uh, on top of that right leg. That's a uh, fine or on, foot on top or across. Yeah, you decide, good. Again, being gentle, notice if there's any difference on this side. We'll do a little forward and back here. So nice, tall spine. And as you exhale, press the chest forward a little bit. So I'm tighter on this side for sure. Back and forward. Notice where you are today. Back. And relax. Nice tall spine and just maybe rock the body side to side. 
opening up this left side now. Yeah. Coming back to center, nice tall spine. Take a breath in. As you exhale, press the chest forward. Good. And then relax the head down. Again, you can either close your eyes and concentrate that breath as you breathe into that right hip. And specifically, as you breathe out, relax the body. Just let it fall forward where it wants to land. Yeah, oh, opening up, just knowing that you're opening up this tight, tight hip of ours. Um, some awareness there. Good. And on an inhale breath, slowly come back up. Good. Ha. Ah. And go ahead and release. Relax that out. Good. So you're still at the front of our chair here. It's gonna bring our legs out a little wider. Again, just a nice gentle way to open up the inner hips now, inner thighs. Good. And again, let's just rock the body side to side from one hip to the other. That's just a beautiful way to open up your hips. And fairly easy and you just take this to where you want to take it yeah and come back up in a little circles with our upper body so take a breath in and exhale come forward and over to one side and back over to the other side and forward let's just do one more circle here good and the next time the body comes to the right, pause. Notice that your knees have caved in a little bit. Stretch the knees out to the side, opening a little wider. Yeah. And then slowly continue to the other side and pause. Good. Knees wide open. Good. Breathe. Ground this right hip down and slowly come forward. And let's just do one more nice flow, one more circle here. Good. The next time that the body comes forward, pause. Slowly float your body back up and toe heel, toe heel your feet back to hip distance apart. All right, and wiggle it up. We're gonna come into a little twist here, working our, always working our spine in six direction. We're gonna inhale and slowly float the arms forward and up. Let's lift our chest, let's look up. And take a breath in from the pelvic floor all the way out through the top of your head. And as you exhale, reverse that. Relax the body, lift the head, relax the shoulders, good. And we're going to slowly turn the body over to the right. And you're gonna relax your arms down, just let them float down. And today we're gonna to open the chest a little here. So we're gonna flip the palms so that they're forward out towards that right wall. Good, so the top of your left hand on the outside of your right thigh. Good, grounding both feet, nice tall spine. Take a breath in. As you exhale, turn your head to the right and breathe. Nice, long, slow, deep breaths. And relax. Slowly bring your body back forward. So all these poses are working our lower chakras here, that first, second, third chakra, pelvic floor, below the navel, and right above the navel, a little bit above solar plexus. Yeah. Let's do the other side. So inhale, slowly float the arms forward and up. Reach up tall, look up between your hands. Big breath in, stretch up tall. As you exhale, relax the breath. Let it float all the way down your spine. Relax the arms, gently turn to the left, just to where it's comfortable on your back. And then relax the arms, let them float down. Again, palms out. Palms facing out, that's available to you. Notice your right knee, if your right knee caved in, when we do palms out, that's a tendency. 
So make sure that that right knee is above the right heel and turn and look over your right shoulder and breathe. Nice, long, slow breaths here. Smile on the face. Ujjayi breath. Running up and down your spine. And then as you exhale, relax and slowly bring the body back forward. Good. And relax the body. Relax the arms down. Good. I'm going to float the arms out to either side. And again, we're going to lift our palms up towards the sky. So we're lifting our palms today. When we lift the palms, that's uh, grabbing energy, you know, some nice energy from the universe, right? Get those palms up. Good. And now with palms up here, we're just going to start to glide the upper body side to side. So you gently reach towards the right wall with the right fingertips. And then the left, getting some movement in the middle body. Yeah. Gentle movement in the spine. Good. Big breaths here. And relax, come back to center. Let's bend the arms into cactus pose. Let's bring the fingertips to our, our shoulders. So our elbows are still out to either side. Again, getting into that solar plexus, heart chakra. We're just gonna turn side to side. Again, nice and gently. That's a little bit warmed up here. Inhaling again, big breath. And come back to center, good, and relax the arms down, good. And flop your fingers around, shake up your hands, good, shake, shake, shake. Let's bring our elbows bent alongside our body. Let's stretch our fingers wide and wiggle the fingers as you're stretching them. Yeah, e, that's just such a nice stretch. It's like your fingers are waking up in the morning. Forget your thumbs, yeah. It's amazing how we need each finger to function in our day-to-day -day lives. So let's pay some attention there. Good. Close your hands into fists now and open them wide and close them into fists. Notice if one hand is feeling different than the other. Notice if one finger or two or three. I have a couple fingers on my right hand that are like, ooh, feeling pretty stiff today. <laughs> so let's stretch, give them a little more love. Yeah, good, and relax, good, good, good. All right, we've been sitting for a little bit. That's the beauty of a chair yoga class, we could do the whole hour sitting down in our chair. Maybe one day I'll do that. But let's just slide your hand up, peel back, lean forward, and slowly make your way up to a stand. And you can come to the back of your chair. Yeah. And we'll meet behind the chair. Good, all right. So coming to a stand, you can slide your chair forward or off to the side here. Good. And again, let's always start with a shake, 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 shake. Remember one thing, just remember that when you're feeling anything, anxiousness, lethargy, whatever it is, if you can just stand and shake and move your body. I know I remind you of that every day. Some things I need to, I just want to remind you all the time because they're so powerful. The body needs to get energy out, right? When these chakras are stuck, that's when we start to feel anxiousness, anger, you know, sadness, depression, all of that. And so just getting the energy moving in our physical body will help us to move that through. Yeah, good. All right, and come back to center. Good. And now nice tall spine, and now let's start our little march like we did when we were seated. Just, so take it, decide where you wanna take this today, right? Do you wanna just lift your heels? That's good, right? Do you wanna maybe lift your feet up a little bit? Bend the knees, that's good too, right? If you wanna really get some, a little more, feeling like you need a little more energy, 
Yeah. Then lift the knees up as high as you can. Good. And if you want to stay at this cadence, that's great. If you want to pick it up, yeah, even with your heels coming up. So you decide what feels best today. Take care of yourself. Notice and be aware of how you are feeling. And then take care of yourself just knowing that, right? Where do I want to go today? All right. And then slow it down if you were really cranking it out there. Yeah, slow it down. And let's come back to a stand. Finding mountain pose, feet on the floor, toes gently pressing into, so press your toes into the floor and then press your heels into the floor. You'll notice that your kneecaps engage, right? That's engaging your whole, uh, uh, your legs, right? Yeah, all the muscles, these big muscles in your legs. Good, relax your feet. Just press into the outsides of your feet. Feel that. And relax and press to the insides of your feet. And now relax that. And now feel the whole foot grounded. These feet are what keep us up, right? So we want to use all of the all of our toes. Even when we stub our little pinky toe sometimes, if it's out of commission, it really rocks our world, right? We, we, our feet were designed with this beautiful design, right? To hold us up and they're just what we need. Yeah, but we have to use the whole foot. Good, okay. So we're gonna start coming, in, uh, start up in tree pose today. It's gonna, this first chakra, pelvic floor chakra, the first chakra. You may need your chair, because we're gonna just do a really nice mindful tree pose. All right, so standing beside your chair, if you wanna use your chair, you can have it there. If you're not needing that, that's fine too. All right, and so again, engage those kneecaps, a nice tall spine. And we'll start with bending the inside knee. Let's just start with that. Yeah, good. Now there's different options here. Again, be aware of what your body needs today. All right, so if it's just a bent knee, that's fine. Good. If it, you wanna turn the knee out a little bit, you may have to scoot away from your chair here and bring the bottom of your foot inside your ankle. Maybe the foot comes onto the shin. Yeah. And maybe the foot comes onto the inside of your upper thigh. And maybe today the foot comes onto your chair. Those are just different options for you. you have many different options. So just decide what feels good on your body today. Yeah, there, right here, here, right? Maybe up in the thigh, that's not for me. And, or maybe just toe on the floor, all right? So you decide. Get a nice tall spine, lift your pelvic floor muscles up, that first chakra, lift it up. When you do that, you're actually engaging all the lower chakras. Yeah, lift the chest up nice and high. So it's the chest, the pelvic floor is lifted slightly, the belly's tucked in slightly, that second chakra, the heart is lifted, that fourth chakra. Good, nice tall spine. Find a spot to stare at. Good, so just getting into these poses nice and mindfully. Yes, makes such a difference in our, our mindset, right? Our stability, balancing. And if you can, maybe you bring your palms together at your heart. Yeah, and if you're wobbly, little wobble is good. Start to feel that wobble, it's the body adjusting. If you're feeling like you wanna grow your tree branches up towards the sky, and again, feel the first through fifth chakra, that pelvic floor all the way to the heart lifted. Good. And if you want a little bit more of a challenge, if you're feeling really balanced here, be aware of what your body wants. Then lift the chin and look up towards the ceiling a little bit. Opening up that throat chakra a little bit and breathe. You see how those chakra energy centers are so important for us. Yeah, 
always working, always needed. Good. And then when you're ready, you can slowly bring your hands back to heart. Come out slowly. That's the challenge, right? And hands down to heart. Good. And hand maybe back to the chair and release. Yeah. Good. Again, that's the challenge. When we're in our practice, tendency is to just come out, right? But to go slowly, because your mind, our minds tend to go into the future and our minds are already like, okay, we're coming out. Let's get out. And so just each moment take to come out and in to life. Yeah. So let's pass the other side. Most of the time, that's when things happen, right? That's when accidents happen, is when our mind is over there. They say that about athletes, you know, they're so focused on the present moment with their bodies doing. And the second they go to the next thing, that's when things happen. That's when they fall out, right? So just being in that present moment keeps us so safe. Yeah. Okay. And happy too. That's where we're most happy. Let's come to this side now. All right. So maybe try to mimic what you did on the other side, on this side. So getting yourself nice, tall spine, bending that inside knee. Good. All right. And again, you can take it out to the side, bottom of the foot to the inside of your ankle or shin or thigh. Or again, if you have a chair that's comfortable for you to do this and you want to put wider, this is actually, this is, keeps you a little more stable, but it's very challenging because the your leg is up high, right? So you, you pick, but for some people, this feels really nice. Yeah, good. Okay, nice tall spine. Here we go, each moment. Don't get beyond yourself. Where am I gonna put my hands? Go a little bit at a time. Find your drishti gaze. Bring your hands into prayer position. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you stay with your hand on your chair. Yeah, get a little bit of wobbles good, but if you keep falling out and this isn't, then just gently switch it up to where you can be nice and stable. Yeah, maybe you reach the arms up. Good, and stretch the chest up. If you're feeling balanced on this side and you want more, you can lift your gaze look up towards the ceiling and opening up the whole first and lower chakras all the way up Good. and then when you're feeling ready here's the hard part come out slow slowly float the hands down bring them together down Good. and then slowly left the legs go and shake it out. Good. Shake, shake, shake. Good. All right, nice, nice, nice. Okay, we're gonna move over to goddess pose here. So you can come to back to the back of your chair. Let's slide it out here to light. We're right, just gonna come to a nice wide stance here with toes on an angle. This is bringing our attention to the second and third chakra here. Yeah, and first too. So first starting with sliding the hips side to side. Smile on the face again. Yeah. From back to center. Good. Take a breath in. As you exhale, drawing your thighs back, just melt your hips towards the floor. Just take this to where it's comfortable for you. For me, it, it helps my knees when I scoot my heels forward just a little bit. Yeah. Coming into goddess pose. So finding here, having your knees bent is, is, you know, we don't want the knees caving in. Try to reach the knees back, good. And then, or, you know, you can modify. Yeah, good. And so tuck your tailbone forward. Float your arms out to either side. Come into cactus pose here, bend your elbows. Good. And then lift the heart. And breathe. Good. You can always hold on to your chair with one hand. So find your big breath here, breathing in from the pelvic floor all the way out to the top of your head and back. 
And each time you exhale, can you melt your hips down a little bit? Does that feel okay? Press down into your toes to stabilize your low body and breathe. This is a beautiful pose to open ourselves up. Again, if you're feeling unstable, this isn't feeling good, then back out. We don't want to over energize any of these chakra points either. Yes, just as important. Our tendency is to go for more in this society. And we learn, need to learn how to go less for that balance sometimes. And as you exhale, relax the hands down onto the thighs. Good. Again, pressing into your toes to slowly straighten your knees. Good. And bring one toe in and the other toe forward and heel toe, heel toe. Keep back to hip distance apart and shake it out. Good. Right, coming into a lunge now. We're gonna do a little lunge twist here with our cactus arms. So your chair's in front of you. You can use the back of the chair to hold on to there. Good. And let's just take a breath here and center ourselves to go into the next little pose. We're gonna do a little lunge twist here. Different options, right? So taking this right leg, your right leg, and just bending the toe back, yeah. So you're on the ball of your foot and you can just soften this front knee. Good. And find your lunge, right? So if you're on a tight rope here, it's gonna be a real challenge to balance, right? So you want the feet a little wider apart, a little soft bend in this front knee. The front knee is right above the heel, not any further forward. Good. All right. See how that feels. And then we're going to slowly lift our arms out to either side, kind of like we're a tightrope walker, right? And then today we're gonna to bend our elbows. And we're gonna lift our chest. Good. And this is for this, these, the uh, solar plexus and heart chakras here. Good. And if it's available to you, we're gonna slowly turn over to the right, or to the left, yeah. Again, you can always drop and hold on to the back of the chair. Yes, good. And breathe. And then inhale, slowly come back forward. Good, you can take a break whenever you need. And just, now we're just gonna do a little counter twist. This, you won't go very far. Turning over to the right, just a little bit. Keep that left arm, upper arm back and then inhale, come back forward, and exhale, release the arms. Good, lean forward, you can hold on to your chair on an inhale breath, bring your leg forward, shake it out. Yeah, might wanna shake out the shoulders there. Good, all right. And now coming to the other side, so taking the left toe back, good. Being mindful that that left heel is not dropping forward, um, it's just straight back. If, if this is uncomfortable for you to be on the ball of your foot, you can come onto a flat foot. Just come into like triangle legs. Yeah, with the toes forward. Good. Either one. If your toe is back and you're on the ball of your foot, you can gently bend this right knee. Good. So find your balance. Experiment. You know, letting go. And if you're feeling like a little wobble, like I said, is always good. It means your body's learning to adjust. Good. And then when you're ready, slowly float your arms out to a T. And bend into cactus. And lift the heart. And put a smile on your face. This is fun, 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 fun. Good, take a breath in. If it's available to you, slowly pivot at your waist over to the right. Again, tendency is to have that left arm come forward. Just have that upper arm in line with the shoulder. Good. You can always hold onto the chair with that left hand too. Good. And then inhale, slowly come back forward. Little counter pose here. Exhale, just turn over to the left. Just a little bit. 
Again, that right arm wants to come forward. Keep it in line with the shoulder as much as possible. And breathe. And inhale, come forward. And exhale, relax. Good. And bring your hands onto your chair. Or you can have your hands onto your hips. Lean forward on an inhale breath. Bring that left, that, uh, left leg forward. Wiggle out the toes. Yeah. Matter of fact, you can either hold on to your chair, but let, let's lift our knee up a little bit and let's do a couple circles with that left foot. And relax and let's lift the knee and do a couple circles with the right foot. Good. And relax. All right, before we sit down here, we're just going to do one more. We're going to come into the throat chakra. Good. With just a little back bend. Good. So camel pose or clasping behind your back. So bringing the palms of your hands to the back of your hips or interlacing your fingers and just letting the arms be straight. Yeah. So you're either, again, just a reminder, you're either here or you can be here. Yeah, either one. Good. All right. If you have your hands on your sacrum in a little standing camel pose, you want to bend your knees a little bit. Good. Now on an inhale breath, lift your chest, lift your head, and gently push your hips forward just a little bit. If you're interlaced with your hands, you're just drawing your hands down and looking up just like we are. Feel that throat chakra open up. Breathe. Also good for our thymus gland, a little bit of um, immunity, thyroid. Breathe. Two. Breathe. One. And slowly come out, straightening the knees, bringing the head forward, sliding your hands down, unclasping behind you if you were doing that, and back, just opening it up. All right, nice, really beautiful work, everyone. We're gonna make our way back down to our chairs. Hang to the front of your chair, mindfully loading your hips down to your chair using your toes. Yeah, uh, slowly, slowly, slowly land yourself into, onto your chair. Good. All right. So we're going to come into a little um, a boat pose here. Actually, I'm changing my mind. We're just going to do a nice stretch. We're going to do a longer Shavasana today. Good. So we're going to grab onto your chair if you can, the, the seat of your chair and the side of the seat, just for some leverage. Yeah, good. And then we're just going to lift our heart and look up and reach your shoulders back. So just opening up, you'll feel that opening in the chest, the throat, and breathe. Just long, slow, deep breath. Smile back on the face a bit left. And then as you exhale, just relax. I mean, that's something you can do a couple times a day, right? Again, our tendency is to sit forward. We're scrunching our lungs, right? And our throat, all these chakras are just getting scrunched, right? And if we remember every now and then, you don't even have to grab onto your chair, you can grab behind your chair there and then just stretch your shoulders back and lift your heart and look up, keep the back of your neck long. Let's do that one more time. Yeah, it's just a way to keep those upper chakras nice and flowy, flowing. And as you exhale, just release, relax, let go. Good. And it might be, feel kind of nice now to just do a couple of slow head circles, little ones, just in case you built up some tension in that neck. That's nice, slow, just a couple, and then reverse. And then good. Back to center, 
Let's bring our hands now into prayer position. We're going to just do some sacred circles. So we're going to get rid of junk energy that we don't no longer need metaphorically. And we're going to bring in beautiful healing energy for this last pose here. So on an inhale breath, just slowly float your prayer hands up towards the sky as if we're grabbing onto our junk that we're holding and exhale, just push out with palms out, big circle as if you're just getting rid of all the stuff you don't want to hold anymore. And then bringing your hands back to center. Inhale, big breath in. You can even look up slightly through the nose. Exhale through the nose as arms go out. And last one here. Inhale up. And get rid of any last bits of yuck that you're holding on to. Most of the time, we don't even know what we're holding. Relax the arms down. Practice brings that awareness to, why is that always sore? Yeah, turning the palms out now. Here, we're gonna grab onto energy, that universal energy, blessings that are there for us just to open up our cup. So we're opening up our cup, bringing the hands together and bringing that down into our heart. Relax the arms down and just organically inhale, circle sweep up. Just imagining grab, grab, grabbing all those blessings. The universe, the divine wants to bless us, but we spend our days, our times with our cup down, right? We're not open to receive. So this makes us open to receive all the health, happiness, joy, peace that is attainable and relax, good. And palms onto the um, your lap. For our third eye chakra, sixth chakra, we're just gonna bring our peace fingers between our, our eyebrows, close your eyes. It's right above the eyebrows, right in the middle. And just do a little uh, circles with that third eye. Just reminding ourselves we sit quietly for a little bit and the answers will come from this area. And then reverse, just do some massaging circles, opposite direction. Yeah. Good. And relax. Good. Oh, let's just get ready for Shavasana now. So find a nice, comfortable seat. Scoot your hips back and lay down if you'd like. Once you've landed, just close your eyes. Again, coming into that, but three breaths from our pelvic floor to the top of the head. Yeah, so breathing in, enthusiasm, creativity, self-esteem, and breathing out all the Negative, yeah, let it go. And again, breathing in, pelvic floor, breathing in, gratitude, compassion, wisdom, insights. And breathing out and letting go. And finally, breathing in, bliss all the way up to the top of your head and a little above where bliss lies and relax. Now relax the body. Yeah. We'll come into complete relaxation now for this just next four or five minutes. Notice how the body's feeling. Yeah. Good. Come aware of your environment. All of the noises around you, all the distractions around you. And see if you can just let them be. And just be here in this present moment for now. Become aware of your body and 
relaxing the head, the back of your neck. Relax, breathing in and out of the nose. Relaxing your heart, your navel, your belly. Relax. Notice how you feel. And allow yourself to remain here if you'd like. Should you choose to come back now, slowly, just take a gentle breath in from pelvic floor all the way to the top of the head. Pause and from the top of the head, down the spine, back to your pelvic floor. And one more time, another deeper breath in. Smile on the face. And let it go. And gently begin 
to move the body side to side, or wiggling toes or fingers. Good. And coming back to center, gently bringing your hands into prayer position, resting them onto your heart, thumbs onto heart. Take a nice little breath in, smile on the face, maybe a bigger smile. And as you exhale, bow your forehead to your fingertips. And we'll close practice today with this wisdom. The path is long. Every step is complete in itself. The goal is every moment. For the end result is just another moment, every bit as good as all the others. Mm. When you're feeling ready and complete at your own pace, gently just begin to flutter the eyes open, allowing the eyes to open nice and slowly, fluttering them open lifting your head. And I thank you all for coming and balancing your energy today, taking care of yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you, everyone.